Rachel is suitably attired and will now take over the Christmas quiz. Yeah, so first thing first, I guess, is um, the quizzes themselves or your answer yeah. sheets. If you take one and pass them on, well, I won't be wanting you yet. Maybe in about 10 years. You can. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You want to just take a pen and pass them on? So hopefully there's enough for everyone. Um, so I think I've met most of you in here. If I haven't, my name's Rachel. Um, I've been working with Graham um, and Beth, who's another new recruit, for about two months now. Um, and the, the responsibility for the Christmas quiz has fallen on my shoulders. Uh, luckily, it's not very heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is a, it's a fun job, to be fair. So today we're looking for the next new person to fill this gap on the slides. <laughs> um, and we do have, as ever, the prestigious Dave McIntyre trophy for the winner of the quiz this year, um, filled with treasure um, and a runner-up prize. So it should be good. Okay, does everyone have an answer sheet? Yes, there's an answer sheets going down. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. That's what's going to happen. Thank you very much. Has everyone got a pen as well? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so shall we get started? Look at that. Festive, isn't it? <laughs> That's nice, yeah. I already feel more Christmassy. We were a bit worried with it being the 1st of December that people wouldn't be quite in the festive spirit yet, but... I'm not. <laughs> we'll get there. By the end of this quiz, everyone will be. If you'd like to write your name at the top as well, then I can tell who's going to be the winner. <laughs> okay, so... This is divided. I've gone for a bit of a nature theme this year. So we've got the animal kingdom, the fungal kingdom, and the plant kingdom coming up. But they're not your typical questions. So the first question is, how many different breeds of dog are recognized by the UK Kennel Club? It will probably be the closest person, the closest yeah, answer. Yeah, <laughs> not expecting you to get it. I guess Rachel is half of a vet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Almost the best. An accurate description. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, we all had a chance to have a guess? Okay, good. All right, what type of big cat can't retract its paws? So the, the first question is that the closest gets the point. I think so, yeah. Yeah, or I might do within 10. Okay. Yeah. Within 10? <laughs> I'm going to guess 119. Okay. Are you Googling? <laughs> That's not the right answer. It's not the right answer. <laughs> okay. Question three. Which animal can go the fastest? The fastest animal in the world. And bonus, what speed can it reach? Please, in miles per hour, because I can't convert between the two. <laughs> and no cheating. And no cheating, yes. Yeah. And you look just such a friendly lady when I come in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought this was the easier one. Well. These are all—they're all designed to be guests, I think. What? They're not designed to be. Uh, so when you say when you say animal, yes. Do you mean land animal or water animal? I think every type of animal. animal. Every yeah. type of animal. So flying, swimming, running. Yeah. What's the fastest? Yeah. What's the fastest? Mm -hmm. A dead animal once it's on the truck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <the> point. <laughs> You've got your uh, little table by the side. Oh yeah, there are oh. there are tables there most of the chairs. If you need to. Or books if you want to lean on them. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is one Blue Planet one, 2 one, question one. in here, oh, cool. so if you've been oh, watching wow. it. Okay. <laughs> Why can sharks never stop swimming? I for this question I googled a picture of a cute shark and that was the one that came up because all the all the pictures were really angry looking. And they're not all angry. Is that your second favourite animal? Sharks? Yeah. No, I think my second like favourite animal is whales. Teeth. Whales are teeth, yeah. <laughs> I like whales. Okay, what colour is a polar bear's fur? Bit of a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Do <laughs> Trick question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bit of a trick question, yeah. On the twice. Nebel. Nebel. It's a magic pen. Nebel. Baby, check after grandma. Yeah. Naughty. Not nice, is it? Not nice. <laughs> hey. Don't listen to us. Which animal has the largest and heaviest brain? And it's not Graham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cruel. <laughs> it's not that's a compliment in disguise. That's all. <laughs> mm. How long are you working in this team? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Question seven. Which breed of dog is Scooby from Scooby Doo? His size might give it away. Scooby. Yeah. He's the one in the middle. That's the one in the middle, yeah. <laughs> Which university did you go to? <laughs> UCLA. <laughs> I've tried to do a mix, so hopefully there's something for everyone. I wanted it to do again, but it wasn't that Okay, so anyone who follows the Facebook group might already know the answer to this question. So a couple of weeks ago, Beth noticed this magnificent fungus outside the uh, the NAC doors. So if you can tell us what type of mushroom it is. And I think it's got a few different common names as well, so be descriptive and you might get it. Technically, that's a fruity bucket. That's a white. <laughs> oh, we're on round two already. Yeah, round two. Awesome. Okay. How many types of poisonous mushroom can you find in Britain? There's a lot. It surprised me when I googled this. The official London Infection Trust mushroom, isn't it? The red yeah, it's the prettiest, but it's it's not good to eat. <laughs> okay, a bit of a harder question this time. 
how many continents has resistance to the antifungal drug amphotericin B spread? I must have slept a lot through these things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being too critical with your grammar, but it's two how many continents? How many, how many, two how many, yeah, very, very good point. Two how many continents has resistance to the antifungal? So we, we talked about the spread of resistance to antifungals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tired. And we'll now take you over. It's rather in the world. I think we'll go with six, won't we? Six? Yeah, Antarctica plus the so five. It's at least spread to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, question four on round two. What type of mushroom do fairies inhabit? <laughs> Common name is acceptable, as it's the only name I know. <laughs> so you put the scientific one, I'll have to Google it. It's a scientific name to fairies. <laughs> it should be, but it's not. I walked around a fairy wood in the summer. Oh, did you? I've always wanted to see that, yeah. Everywhere. With the little doors on the trees and yeah. things. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> Question five. Why shouldn't you feed bread to ducks? <laughs> this is a teaching moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> is a clue that this is passed around to the Mongol kingdom? Oh, there's a slight clue, yes. <laughs> there is a slight clue in that. Yeah, it could have gone in the animal or the fungal kingdom in this question. Are you doing this quiz as well, Graham? I'm looking after all the people. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, they're not talking to me Okay. All right, question six, another drug one. Which antifungal drug has the broadest spectrum, so it treats the most different types of fungal disease? Is it fluconazole, itraconazole, or amphotericin B? This is where the more difficult questions are. No, I think this is my only really difficult <laughs> sciencey one. <coughs> And the last question for the fungal kingdom. What does SAFS stand for? S-A-F-S. And if you don't know, the most humorous guess would always get a half a point, I think. Happy for me to move on to round three? Oh. Alright, I'll give you a couple more minutes. Still writing. If there's any question you want me to go back to at the end, we can do that as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> round three, Plank Kingdom. Oh, so, What's the general name given to plants that lose their leaves in the autumn? Trees. Trees, sorry. That lose their leaves in the must be grown in water. So not breakfast cereals, we're talking things like oats. Um, 
<laughs> Maybe that's the point. This is a soggy cereal. That's a Which poisonous plant takes its name from the Italian phrase for beautiful woman? So I feel like if you're good at Italian or at plants, you'd get this question. What about scouts? <laughs> yeah. I know the answer to this one. Yeah? yeah. What is it? What's it bad? As a clue, it's also a poisonous plant. <laughs> What would a gardener do with a dibber or dibble? I've never found them to be very good. No? I just use my fingers, I think. Especially with things like balls. Mm. That's true, yeah. I'm my dad had a faulty one. <laughs> How can it be faulty? <laughs> Is that, is that young lady actually giving as... She's not, no. I, because I thought it would give it away if I, if I did a picture of someone. Yeah, right, okay. I think she's pruning, actually. Um, but interestingly, when I, when I googled gardener, I had to go to the second page to find a female gardener. So there's obviously some sort of sexism going on in, in the gardening community. <laughs> Yeah, I've been in uh, Scotland, we always think the main mm-hmm. was female when I was in Scotland. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it's just strictly, you know. They, they, they hold it for longer, so they yes. have a much shorter growing yeah. season. Yeah, you have to do everything faster. Question five. Which part of a tree can be used to make cork? That picture is an old cork tree, so you might get a clue. So it's a particular type of tree. Mm. But we're asking which part of that tree is used to make the cork. Is that the tree name I can tell you? The name is G-E-T-C-Y. No, that's, that's because I stole that image off the internet. It's got a copyright symbol on it. It's given me away. <laughs> Cross that out. <laughs> <laughs> Does it actually kill the tree when you take cork? I don't think no. so because no, I think it's sustainable because on the description of this tree it said that it was a very old tree that had been used for many right. many decades. Yeah. So. So it's not part of the roots or anything, or you're not chopping it down. Oh, I'm, I can't give anything away. <laughs> anything more anyway. So is this a subliminal um, hint that uh, the this looks like Portugal, I remember. It right. is Portugal, yeah. And yeah. we're going to Portugal, isn't it? It is Portugal. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe that was in my subconscious, so I didn't. Okay. Question six. The largest, not the tallest, the largest <coughs> tree in the world. And you can find them in, I want to say America or Canada. Don't know if you've ever seen the famous image of the road going through the tree. That's this kind of tree. I think that one fell down recently. Did it? Oh no. There was a big fuss about it that it had fallen down. Yeah. It I'm quite surprised it survived for so long with a mm-hmm. road going through it. I should have picked that picture already. Okay. And the last question in the point kingdom. 
Which liquid does a flower produce to attract insects? And birds. And birds, yeah, coming birds. I just really like that picture. She looks <laughs> so happy and cheerful. Okay. She's wearing her, her, her first class stamp crown. Well. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> question two. There is a bigger gap for question two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was you buying me a Russian <laughs> Draw. Your best picture. They will be judged by me. Should we not put it to the boat? Hold them up and see. <laughs> yeah, we could. We could. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for this one. I hope I left a big enough gap. If there isn't a big enough gap, feel free to go on to the back of the the back of the page or the back of the shake sheet. just glitter just in a packet yeah. Um, yeah, with oats yeah. but when you spread it on the ground it's bad for like the ecosystems and the wildlife because edible glitter for us isn't edible for wildlife <laughs> um, it's not just plastic. there's plastic in it as well yeah it's just not it's not ideal <laughs> stick to carrots i think <laughs> i'm gonna save some of these papers <laughs> <laughs> Everything's in the right place. Yeah. What do you want? I've got great expectations for this area. <laughs> this is an interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's the best one over there. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen oh, them all yet. <laughs> 
I was just doing this face. Well, this is like a cartoon comedy one. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's cruel, isn't it? <laughs> You're just getting to the baby project. Right? <laughs> okay. We've had enough drawing time now. Yes, definitely. Who composed the music for the ballet The Nutcracker? One of my favourites. I know, you just don't take things into it. Or you do, but you don't start it properly. Nutcracker and Swan Lake. There's no rush in this question, is there? There's no rush. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody joining in online unless they're keeping very quiet. Yeah, they might be. They might be following along at home. So furiously. Also, we we get a recording so we can run it over and over again mm-hmm. on Christmas Day. I think. Yeah, that would be good. That would be nice. We could even pop it up as a video for the um, Facebook group, maybe. If you want a quiz. Have you ever been to see that ballet? Yes. 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 It's wonderful. Yeah. It's really good. The, um, I really like the costume. Oh, hang on. That was Disney. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say it. Yeah. Name the country. Impressive. Okay. What's the only American state to begin with the letter P? Mm. There's a university there. Although there's a university in every American state, but it's a famous university. Do you know anything else about that state that could be clues? Are the mountains there? Just mining for information. I want clues, you know. I'm a bit rusty yeah. there with yeah. <laughs> I think I might be talking about the wrong thing. Yeah. Is there? I've not heard of that at all. Oh. Okay. But I don't know whether that's good. <laughs> Got anything to do with that thing? It's just something to crop up in my head. Mm-hmm. Should I look up 20, 20 things that we should know about this state? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you some clues about the state. Mm-hmm. I can't even spell it. Which one do you want to spell? Okay, I'm a good speller. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why the people in the book are a step ahead all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall I give you some clues? Yeah, go on. Okay. It is just south of New York State. Is that too good a clue? <laughs> okay, it's the 33rd largest state. I assume we've got the right one. The sixth most populous. Uh, never mind that, how do you spell it? <laughs> it also contains two Extra cities being with me. Spell it. <laughs> there is Philadelphia <laughs> and Pittsburgh. Okay. Begin with well, well, that was a good, that was good please. Yeah. This is where they make all that soft cheese. That's the city in this. From you. It's Philadelphia. Okay. That's it. That's all my clues. Question five. This should be one for you, Graham. You like football? Oh the only yeah, footballer yeah. to have played for Liverpool, Everton, Manchester City, and Manchester United. Oh, wow. I don't, I'm going to have to study that. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, nine are getting an adverse. That's not good. <laughs> Only footballs who play Liverpool, Everton, City, and United. <coughs> You've looked at yourself, haven't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this one by heart. What the hell if I was guessing, I would say the, the 80s or 90s, but, I, but I, I really would be a guess. It was just from the name that I'm guessing that. Oh, really? Okay. Season ticket for who? Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, well if Graham no doesn't know the answer, we've not got any hope. <laughs> oh, that might be a good one. I'm no, I'm no good with sports questions, so I just thought that. So you came up with the world's hardest. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> So there has to be one in there. I'm going to stay on that one. I've got to find the answer to that one. Thunderbirds. What was Lady Penelope's chauffeur called? One right out of 21. Out of 28. Okay, the last question in the fun round is, how many squares on a chessboard? Ooh. I tried to pick a picture where you couldn't count the squares very easily. <laughs> how many whites and how many blacks? Yeah. If you know your chess pieces, you should be able to work it out. And you know your time tables. And you know your time tables, yeah. But now and then things where you have to count like all squares is a square as well. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Things where you go. Oh, it's not one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there'd be there'd be hundreds. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the relative of a famous person mm. or an actress. Is he yeah, she does look actressy. Number five is obviously a sportsman. Yes. Maybe a footballer, do we think? A very famous one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you All have right. <laughs> Not to me. I know. Do you know number six, though, Greg? Yes. You do? Okay. Because I've got ne no, Netflix. You Netflix? No, it was on Netflix at first. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven is easy. He was later replaced by John Cleese. Okay. John Cleese. Number eight is a particular fondness for making huge speeches in films. Yeah. I don't know. No idea who number nine is. No, I don't. I'm. She or, must be an actress. Or number ten. Although number 10 is obviously American, that's all yeah. they I was going to say, yeah. American. Looks like an American politician. Yeah, I think he's more of a TV guy, isn't he? Okay. Newsreader, then. He looks serious. Something like that. <laughs> Does anyone want more time? Not if you do. Yeah? Okay, we'll, we'll leave it up for a little bit longer. I'll give you another 60 seconds. I'll just look, Google who played for Everton. <laughs> oh, they might be talking to me on Facebook. Oh, really? I can't see. I'm looking on Facebook. I'm looking at the stream. Okay, I'm going to go to the next picture round now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next picture round. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's more pictures of people. That's the one I like, number 16. I really oh, like really? Guy. Okay. That's I don't like that one as much. I haven't given it a chance, though. I'm not allowed to watch it because it's gone too late. And, and it's rude. It's too childish. Yeah. <laughs> Movie, a movie no, I know 13. She's a supermodel, past yeah. supermodel, who now does TV. Number 14 was uh, lived a long time ago. <laughs> Never told us even for 15 years. It's in secret files. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're going on about because <laughs> no, no, I have no idea. He was familiar. He's, he's he, vaguely familiar. He, that's because he's, he's young. You, yeah. Probably, you probably know him a lot older. Oh, than maybe. Him. All right, now you say that. Maybe I do know who it is. I don't know number 17. Uh, I feel I should do. Number 18, you know who number 18 is? Yeah, chef. As you're fairly sporty, what? Oh, he's not a chef then. No, he's not a chef. <laughs> oh, now you say that. He's, he's, he's been a commentator, hasn't he? Hasn't he? He's a world record commentator. Okay. Oh, is he a. No, I'm just yes. going to embarrass myself a bit. <laughs> <laughs> number 19 is she? 19 looks a bit Star Trek y to me. She does, yeah. But I think, I think she might be a singer. And I know who number 20 is. <laughs> Is there anybody else? <laughs> uh. I know who it is now you said that. <laughs> and I didn't before. 
This is great because you're, you're, you're actually participating. You're <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's fun for me as well. <laughs> okay, so this is the last slide. So uh, last when you're done, feel free to have a break, get some tea or some more sandwiches. There's mince pies as well, but we might be out. I don't know. We've made your pyramid, Yes, we do. How long we felt like you've won? <laughs> yeah, so there is mince pies left, but they run out. I'll get some more. Yeah, no, I'm not really good on any of that. Well, Malcolm, we're really discriminated against the Be ready to go. Go on, go on to the answers. Yeah, yeah. Time for the answers. We've got, we've got less than an hour to go. So, swap. Swap your papers around so somebody else marks them. Preferably somebody who has not got a grudge against you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if there's ever a, if there's an answer you're unsure of, just ask because I might give it a half point or a bonus point. <laughs> I think I used all the pens. Fresh pens, guys. Yeah, we need more pens. Oh, you've got more pens. I need to check. Come out every Christmas, please. There you go. That might work. I don't want that. No. Oh, that's not the right one. This one's probably more than that. Okay. So this is round one. There are 216 different breeds of dog. Oh, that was quite close. Recognised by the UK Kennel Club. I think there's more. How close? Uh, within within 20 for a half point, within 10 for a full point. 20. Within 20 for a half point, so from 206 to 236. Um, no, sorry, within one, this is showing my math now, isn't it? <laughs> within 196 to 236 for a half point, or for a full point, 10 either way. <laughs> Did anyone get a full point? No full points. Yeah. Did anyone get a half point? Yes, it is the cheetah that can't retract its colours. They need them out all the time for all that running. The cheetah. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to point for this one. Yeah. One. One point. But unless I say otherwise, it'd be one. Okay. So which animal can go the fastest? It's the peregrine falcon. And on their dive, they can do 200 miles an hour. Big bird gets the point. What gets the point? The name. Um, you can give a point for the name and a point for the speed. If you get the speed within 20 again, then you can have the, that extra point. Why won't my wife let me cheat? <laughs> it's one big bird! It's a big bird, isn't it? I can spell it! <laughs> Half if you've bird, half a point, yeah, I would say. If you've got a type of bird, give yourself a half yeah. point. Yeah, I've been yellow off Sesame Street. Yeah, he's not particularly fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so sharks have to swim so that the water passes through their gills all the time. So they can't actually force water through their gills like some other fish can to breathe. They just so have they to swim. Yeah. No, this. Yeah, no, the no, 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 don't argue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's not like you sinking. But would you technically say they're drowning if they can't put them? 
Oh, no. Yeah. I don't think you would say drowning. They can't breathe. No, okay. Just I've got drowned here. Okay, that's a half point, I think. So sink, don't get it. No. Right. Very good. I can see some creative truth here. Judge's decision is final. You only get a point if you've done something about breathing. Okay. The polar bear's fur is actually colourless, so it's it's transparent. The fur. It's just because it builds up so much that it looks white. Trick question. It's a bit of a trick question. Yeah. So is it skin white? No, its skin's actually black. Yeah, yeah. We did it off white. So it's just a sort of diffraction. Yeah, it's just because there's so much. It's like if you put loads of those. Um, what are those cables you get at Christmas that shoot the colours? Fibre optics. Fibre optics, yeah. Put loads of fibre optics together, it looks white, right? Because well, the hollow yeah. hair probably is good at trapping air as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what type of one it was. If you got a whale, then I'll give you the point. Yeah. Oh. Um, so it's the largest and heaviest brain belongs to the sperm whale. Which is also the largest type of whale that has teeth. The other big whales don't have teeth, they have baleen to catch the... Yeah, so on Planet Earth, if you watch Planet Earth, it was the whales that were sleeping like logs up in the, up in the sea like that. Really cool though. I think they're really interesting animals, yeah. Makes to think, not, what, five, ten years ago, they didn't actually know anything about whales. They'd never seen them in the natural environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not so, a ma yeah, it's a, a, no. whales are all mammals, and mammals yeah. are animals. But it's not aquatic. It is aquatic, yeah. This. <laughs> it's an animal. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's an animal unless it's a plant or a mushroom. <laughs> or a fungus. <laughs> that's true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so the reason they're called sperm whales is um, when they first harpooned one in the head, the oil from its head came out into the water and it all went milky and they thought that they kept their sperm in the head. So that's the reason they call them sperm. They called them sperm whales. <laughs> yeah, come back next year. It's actually just oil that helps them to to hear. So they use the, um, the clicking to find out things in the dark. What's the like sonar? Yeah. So they use the clicking. Um, which is them forcefully closing um, their nostril, I think, the internal nostril. And that sound goes through, it's amplified through this big head of oil. And that's how they know where things are when they're down in the depths. Oh. Yeah. Have you saw it on BBC, yeah. we went down into the, into the abyss and Fantastic. came up with squid. Yeah, it's so amazing. It really and they hard. have they have real battles because the squid is not like a you know an easy creature to catch. It's quite vicious really, so yeah. And Scooby Doo is a great dame. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Seven questions in. We do it. How are we doing? People feeling confident. Has anyone got four points? Yeah. One, two. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Well, four points or more, I should say. Who's winning? Three points or more? Yeah, okay. Three. 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 So it's gone underneath the picture, unfortunately. But I believe that says Shaggy Ink Cap. <laughs> Shaggy ink cap, yes. Yeah, and you, there is another name that's something to do with smell. I think it's called stink. Yes, something like that. Yeah. If you got the, if you got the smelly name, then that's that's for a point as well. Shaggy ink cap. <laughs> well, it's very descriptive. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably give a half point if you put yeah. fluffy mushroom. <laughs> yeah. sure it's shaggy ink cap. It looks like a fugal stick. 
Best thing, it looks like a cotton bud. A large cotton I've bud. I've got yeah. cotton buds. Is that, can they have half of them? You can have half, that's oh, very descriptive, yeah. Oh, You've got a nice descriptive can name. Have <laughs> <laughs> can't have a flower, no. <laughs> Gonna draw the line somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Wasn't it also known as some, 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 like a judge's, it's got lots judge's of wig or something? Judge's wig, yeah, that's the other name. Really? Judge's wig. Um, okay. So the other ones. Poisonous mushrooms, apparently there's 51 types of poisonous mushrooms. Well oh, that's good, yeah. If you're within 10, that's a point. Oh, yeah. nice. What's that? What's that within how many? So within 10, either way, that's one point. Within 20, half a point. Hey, Chris. Chris. Oh, listen. Safety point with, with poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> the amount of poison varies according to where it's growing. So if you've eaten something and you've been fine, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be fine the next time you eat it. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Or hallucinogenic. So fairies live in toadstools. If you know the science answer, then that's fine. <laughs> I didn't, so I just put toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> what about toad mushrooms? That's all right. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so amphotericin B, there was recently a paper about amphotericin B resistance in Antarctica. So all the com continents now have Okay, and you threw in a case ball by saying there was six continents. <laughs> she should have said. Yeah. Yeah. Fundamentally because we've just detected it in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. So now it's all of them. Yeah. If you've been reading the website, uh, like I know you all do, every day, you'd have got that. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that's the researcher's website rather than the patient's website. You have to be pretty keen for me. <laughs> yeah, so number five, if you get either part of that, I'll give you a point. So it's basically like McDonald's for ducks. It's no good for them. But it also disrupts the whole ecosystem because the bread that's not eaten yeah. rots. Expands. Yeah. Yeah, I said swells and yeah. causes bloating. Yeah. yeah, so it's the, yeah. The, if you feed them white bread, it can swell. Yeah. But white bread swells in our stomachs too. So yeah. It's about diet. Go for a point. Yeah. They can digest it. They can digest it. Um, it's just not. It's not good for them. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah
to the Plank Kingdom. Deciduous trees lose their leaves in the autumn. Oh, really? Have they put it on the another side or? That's right. Yeah, the numbers that okay. Amazing. Oh, that's great. Amazing. Oh, right. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, we have a lot of I think Hamlin's a contender for this. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. Belladonna is the poisonous plant. Beautiful woman. Oh, I missed out rice, didn't I? Yeah, rice is growing in water. Yeah, the second rice and going I do, don't I? Let's go straight to the third. So, yeah, rice. Growing in paddy fields. They only the first part of its life, and then they dry it down. Yes. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, that was a good, that was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and your diplum is the thing that, it's like a wooden thing, isn't it, usually, that you push into the ground to make the holes for the seeds. Yeah, the diplum. We've just put pig. Is that there? Uh, half, yeah, half. My dad had one that was too sharp. Oh, really? So if you pushed it in and you got a bowl, there was a hole underneath the bowl. Oh, no. Died. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can just use your phone, can't you? <laughs> the bark of the tree. So you, you don't need to get the you don't need to get the name of the tree. Yeah, I was I so six, it's the giant sequia, which is the, the yeah. biggest by volume. <laughs> I think the giant redwood is a different type. Is it not? I'll default to you because my plant knowledge is not. I had a Oh, okay. Oh, really? And was it very big? Yeah. Very big tree. Do you live inside the tree? Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, so if you've got redwood, you can have the point for that as well. Um, and flowers produce nectar to attract insects or hummingbirds. What's about pollen? Do you get half the pollen? It's not a liquid, no, oh, it's uh, like, a, it's a like a dusty thing, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, well, we 14 can. questions we asked. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're who's, on who's, to, who's, who's yeah, lead? who's doing well? Who thinks they've got a good one? Uh, yeah, anyone in 10 or more? Right, oh, let's have a look. 14. 14. 14. Yeah, 21, we've had oh, three, oh, yeah. three rounds of seven. Oh, 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 but it's all to play for because there is still the fun round. Oh, sorry, what, were people still on the plant round? Do you want me to go back? <laughs> it's quite a competitive thing, really, isn't it? Nice. Very nice. No, so again, you can go 10 years either way for a point. I'm not going to go a half point this time. If you've got 10, 10 years either way, you can get. Yeah. Oh, get a point. Yeah. Ten How many years on the way? Ten years either way. So from 1947 to 1967. It's fine. Where are we up to? So this is the fun round. It's round four. Round four, question one. Question one, question two. Yeah, that gets a point. Ten years. If you ten years either way. That gets a point. That one? Yeah, one point. You want the right Yeah, yeah. Go for that. <laughs> That's right. I don't know how we're going to score the next one. I was going to say, how are you going to score All this? right. So the, the next picture, if it's a full body picture with antlers and a nose and some sort of cheerful expression, 
It gets a point. If you, oh, that's nice. Yeah, if you've got a sledge on there, I'll give a point. That's a point for you, Yeah. If you, if you think it's, someone's made a good effort, give them a point, basically. Yeah, I like that. Well, it didn't happen. Yeah. I was sad on. Well, no, it's all. Yeah, he's the worst. He's the worst. He's the worst. Uh, an extra point if you've got the right spelling, Tchaikovsky. Did I not have the right spelling? <laughs> she did, she actually spelled it right, crossed it out, and then went for Mozart. Oh, really? Oh, no. I've got Mozart. He was a mate of Tchaikovsky. He was a good friend. He was a good mate, you yeah. see. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, piece of beauty. Pennsylvania. Do I get half a point for saying it was Peter Simpson? Yeah, I think half a point if it's Peter someone. Yeah, so a chessboard is 8 by 8, 64. Is everyone finished marking the fun round? Yeah. Okay, so pictures. I think this will be the decider because they were quite. 17. For the chess. Oh, for chess. Yeah, half a point, 17. Okay. So if you think that they got the character name right, but not the actual actor or a pseudonym or whatever, then you can also give a point. So if you got Cersei Lannister for this one, you can have a point. She's an actor in Games of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I would say Game of Thrones. <laughs> Number one, Justin Bieber. Yeah, I've got that. <laughs> Number two, Albert Einstein. A very young version of Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. I Number three, Amanda Thatcher. Is that the granddaughter? Where have you been? I have no idea. Oh, no, that must be her son's daughter, I would have thought. Yeah, because Carol didn't have any. Yeah. Number four is Kenny. What was it we just got South Park? Yeah, if you've got South Park, that's a point, I think. South Park. Yeah. If you've got, got a Kenny and South Park. If you've got Kenny and South Park, then you get a point. I'm <laughs> well, yeah. feeling generous. Then, you know. <laughs> Number five, Ronaldinho. Oh, I do recognise yeah. the name. I just didn't know his name. Wow. Yeah. Number six, you will be familiar if you watch Game of Thrones. Anyone watch Game of Thrones? No. Okay, that's a waste of time. Lena Hedley? Hedley, Hedley. What's her character in Game of Thrones? Cersei Lannister. Cersei Lannister. Yeah. She's coming back. She's coming back. She's rising to power now, as I speak. Oh, yeah. yeah. Number seven, Desmond Llewellyn. Or Q, as we used to call him when I was 17. Oh, cool. So we get a point for Q. You can have a point for Q, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I've got one movie actor. The one, the one Half a point. The Great Q. Number eight, Al Pacino. Oh, Say hello to my That's little friend. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a bit like there. He looks a bit like the bloke from um, The Fonz. Oh, the Fonz. <laughs> like the, the, the Rag and Bone guy. The sun is down. 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 The s
Okay. That's good. <laughs> and the last one. Okay. Okay. Dwight Eisenhower. Ah, oh, so yeah, Shakespeare. President of the United oh, States. No, uh, <laughs> tell me you got Shakespeare. No, I got Walter Lowey. Chatty Mark. Chatty Mark. Chatty Mark. Chatty Mark. Chatty Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a point for Chatterman. Yeah, we're going to get a point for Chatterman. Definitely. Yeah. Doesn't make me laugh. Number two. Got him. Yeah. Number two. Dwight Eisenhower. We got Buzz. Bud. The man who won the Second World War for Americans. Wasn't he commander in chief of all? Yeah, he was Allied Forces. I've sort of, I've heard of Tyra Banks, but I wouldn't have, she modelled even. She is, yeah. America's Next Top Model is her famous programme. Oh, she does. It started off in Allenport. Yeah, no one. Number four. Oh, well, no, mine is Dan. William Shakespeare, classic Elizabethan. Yeah. Male picture with a big brother. Yeah, but Sir Walter Elliot, oh, oh, no, Rally was much butcher. Well, there's not enough of them there, sir. Exactly. Oh, dear. This guy, David Duchovny. X Files. Oh, um, oh, yes. Not the Fox. Yeah, yeah. About yeah, that's a long time ago. Thirty years before he played X Files. Yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stuart, I did not know that. Stuart Griffin. Stuart. Stuart is just the, the, the baby with the baby. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can have a point for Family Guy. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's why we knew his face. That's why we knew his face. I recognise that person, but I have no idea what she does. Yeah, I don't know. Nina Suvari. Nina Suvari. Any idea what she does? No idea. Yeah. Famous for being famous, maybe. Now, come on. This is not a TV chef. <laughs> Colin Jackson. World record holder, 110 metre hurdles. Oh, really? Failed Olympic athlete. 110 metre hurdles. That's what I said. <laughs> no, I don't know him. He made second. He got silver medal in the Olympic. What year? So I think you're going to... Before you were born. Before me, yeah. <laughs> he looks fast, doesn't he? He's the he looks so streamlined. Number nine, Zoe Saldana, also character in. I assume that's. Star Trek. Star, Star Trek. 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 She's Uhura. Yeah. No. In, the, in the remake, she's the young Uhura, isn't she? Oh, yes, possibly, yeah. Because she's not She's in the current film, not the original. Oh, right, okay, yes. So, am I getting anything for Uhura? It's really hard for the and the last guy, the last one is you. The last bloke is Walt Disney. I've got the yeah, oh, Errol Flynn. Oh, I just <laughs> Half a point. There's a sense of American cast over some of that, I suppose. Yeah, there is a bit, yeah. I do know you're one, two, three. Mm. And that's it, I think. Well, I that's it, yeah. yeah. So. Well, we Count up the total. Yeah. See who's won. So we have to gather these in. Yeah, I think maybe we'll do the totals in. Yeah, then you totalise it up the person's score on your sheet. I assume the person's written their name on their sheet before they gave it to you. Yeah. I'm going to give it into me. So people twenty on the board. Yeah. 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 So, so, that. Oh. so Rachel, for next year's quiz, do us a favour. The quiz <laughs> about the questions you'd like. No, no, just do you watch this? This is Netflix. Yeah, have you got Netflix? <laughs> 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 and you're all on a level playing board. Instead of being discriminated, I'm just saying, that's true. Oh, 20 no, 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 uh, I don't know, it's too bad. Yeah. Four on the face. This one is going to clear lead, we might drop that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> drop that one. Lose that one. Lose that one. But it saves us a job. <laughs> this is like University Challenge, but okay. <laughs>
Okay, good. I don't think we'll read all the way out to the end, do you? <laughs> Maybe just do the top three. One point Yeah, okay. Right. I'm not going to read out all of the scores. Good. <laughs> I'm going to read the top, the top three. So yes, in third place with 20, I always wanted to do this, it's like being an announcer. In third place with 20 points is Evelyn. Congratulations. There is no third place prize, unfortunately. Okay, in second place, that's not second place, this is second place, with 21 points, Michael. Nice. Oh. So, you get the runner up prize of some treasure. A box of chocolates. And despite all my best efforts to make this a very varied, very interesting <laughs> quiz that was non sciencey. Malcolm is the winner with 29 points. Wow. <laughs> you told me to put those down. <laughs> that's effectively saving me the problem of having to do another thing. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll just leave the same one. <laughs> right, we have to do the, the presentation. We do, yeah. Are you presenting and I'm taking photos? Yeah, can you? Oh, oh, well done, Malcolm. <laughs> One more year. Can you manage? Mm. Ah, yeah. Can I throw the right way around? <laughs> I was obviously inspired. Yeah. <laughs> She's giving you all the answers, won't you? Lucky yeah. math. Do you want to be on this side? Get a good side. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, shake so hand. We, we do. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> well practiced. <laughs> well done. You do, treasure. Congratulations. And thank you Okay, so concludes the quiz. You've still got to do your last slide. That's true, that's true. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, that's we did think about making a fancy dress. All right. Well, I put my jumper on. Yeah, oh, yeah very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so next year I'm going to have to go and get back. Yeah, awards the fancy dress for the family. I'm going to leave the quizzes here in case anyone's curious as to how they've done. <laughs> right, we've got about 20 minutes to go. And Chris has got an important Christmas message. Okay, so we, we talked about the springy poster packs that are not very good. So we've been on to the company. And the company have sent this one instead. So you have to tell us what you think. The only thing we can we can see a problem with it, but it is, t it is tighter. You can see it fits much better. Does it go in a letterbox? That's one thing we'd need to check. But what we were saying is it's definitely a better fit. But would that pose a problem? Be it producing disputes or sampling. Depends how far away I am. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot narrower, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Beautiful yeah. on the top of it, right. or some kind of disposable thing to put inside. Because it. it's definitely an advantage to have it like that. It's tons better. The packaging is much neater. Tons better. It's a shame it wasn't like so smaller. Like pass it round, I'll pass it round and have a, have a look. And just see whether you think that would pose a problem. I guess if it was wider, it'd be harder to I mean, we could try it. Yeah, no, but the, yeah, that's yeah. what it's done as a replacement, so it's either... But they can produce, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Because they're not just thinking of one service, you see. They'll yeah. they'll send these, they send them by the, I think it's a thousand, the unit yeah. is a thousand in a box, yeah. so we need to be sure yeah. to make the switch. Yeah. <laughs> We could trial it. We could. Could you um, yeah. provide both sizes, and then you would produce the sample into the larger size and pour it into the smaller size? Would that work? Out? It's going to be a lot. Not very cost effective, is it? Because they're quite expensive to order. Because there's a so we, we go with that. If we don't have to really it. That is a thousand in a box. Yeah, that's the unit request. Thousand. They come in a massive box and obviously we go through a lot of them as you can imagine so mm -hmm. we usually send a couple out to each patient and we're doing that a lot so i mean certainly the packaging is better if it yeah, puts yeah. together more easily than definitely yeah. it looks yeah. like it's a better box and yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it is a bit narrow yeah. that's the only yeah. downside yeah. 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 it's actually still achievable yeah, yeah it should be i i think it's achievable I mean, we're not going to run with it after today. Just want it. I brought it here as the first port of call to see what you thought about it, and we can, we can, um, we can ask people in the clinic as well what they think. It certainly solves the two major problems, which is yeah, is the post. Yeah, and this is it. Tom, I don't know why they can't do that with that one because it should be really neat. It's much tighter. Yeah, much tighter. Um, so it would be good if it did work because I think that's a much better option. Itself, but um, obviously we don't cause people more problems if it's not quite. Will they stick a label on? Like the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll have a label. Yeah, yeah. Same, just the little wrap round more, that's all. Um, yeah. All right. So I think what we might do is get someone to ask in the clinics now yeah. um, yes. and see what their view is on it and then maybe try and we get order, our, say about order our box and then send finished. them out to people and see what and um, maybe we could put a little thing in with it and ask them what they think of it mm. um one box wouldn't be too bad i don't think so so i think that's probably the answer to try and yeah. good all right then that's fine <coughs> something <coughs> yeah i don't i don't write these at all i don't think don't fit at all. Just one, shall we? Just I don't know. No, not impressed with them. So. Is that okay. it, Chris? Thanks. Are you done? Yeah, that's me done. Okay. Thank you. So, welcome. Are you going? What's no, the next? No, no, I'm not going. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't going. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you struggle on that continence question, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> we'll think. We'll we'll think bears in mind. Yes. What, what, what will be a popular subject for next year's dingbats? Dingbats. Ding ding Just want to do 25 dingbats. 25 dingbats. <laughs> ding I think that's quite good. Um, okay. We're just about done today. Yeah. Obviously, you can hang around for another 15 minutes if you and have a chat. Um, we are going to run a patients meeting on the 5th of January. We don't normally, we haven't normally done the January meeting before, usually because I'm not here in early January, and I won't be here on the 5th of January, um, but Rachel and Beth are going to be here. And I think Beth has got a subject in mind. She does, yeah. She's got a few subjects in mind, actually. So Beth has got a lot of stuff planned. <laughs> Um, including well, well, something that includes gardening, if I remember yeah, right. Yeah, she wants to do something before the gardening gardening season starts. Yes. Gardening was, was, was quite a good idea. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. And she's also found a really handy um, <laughs> app for a phone for your phones where you can record your symptoms, and there has a little scanner so you can scan any barcode and any any bottle of, of medication, and it will tell you exactly what it is and what the dose is. And, what the side effects are and that type of thing. 
which she's found recently, so she wants to show everybody and get everyone to have a look at that. Um, we are actually on the point of this room getting a wireless signal that we can use. So sometime next year we'll start to have uh, tablets that we can hand out and you can all have a, uh, for, for something like an app, you could all be looking at it on the tablet while I'm talking about it, which will be a, an improvement. And there's, lots of, there's some changes for the, for the qual going, going to happen in the clinic. Uh, but that's, that's all for next year. So, as far as I'm concerned, just remains to say happy Christmas and a happy New Year to everybody from the members of NAC and ourselves, the comms team, as we call ourselves. Um, until next year, we'll see you in. Well, I won't see you, but the rest of the team will see you in January. We don't mind the year, you know, I'd rather see you there. I'm sure you will. It's been, it's been about, I've been doing it about seven years. So I was going to say, we, we ought to say, Greg, thank you for your efforts. Yes. Yeah. 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 for the quiz this time. Thank you. I was only 12 stone when I started doing yeah. it. <laughs> That was last year. Yeah. <laughs> the year before, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for coming. Thank and uh, say Jenny home. Can I just yeah. say... Oh, have you uh, parking tickets? Right? Yes, parking tickets. Yeah. Here. Uh, Doug and Chris said, uh, they're sorry they couldn't make it, but they wish you all the best. Oh, um, oh, who's that? Brilliant. Doug and Chris. Oh, we're back no, to the